Hi guys, Bruce here. So, this is one of my favorites. And I've actually even gotten to appreciate the electric choke on these. They seem fairly robust. Let's see, this mower was made in June of 2012. So to me, it's not an old mower, it's 10 years old. <laughs> So, uh, I've got the blade off right now. I just sharpened the blade. I was doing another one at the same time. Forgive me for that. Briggs. Flathead. Uh, a little more. Quantum. Are you with me? Let's just look at how much stuff is underneath it. Not bad. So, we're going to throw on a pair of gloves. I don't hurt myself, and we'll, uh, I don't think this one has a drain. Oh yes it does. I like that. So let's just scratch a bit of the broccoli off of here. This one's just a tune-up, it runs, eh? Oh, no, sunlight in your eye. Okay, this isn't going to be bad. You don't have to wear gloves for this, but it just might save one fork. A warp is a thing, right? In your hand. Now you can pressure wash these too, right? Let's just uh, get a little this brush. I'm going to sweep this onto the floor. Second. Okay. Let's get that blade on. So we can run it. Lawnmower engines don't run good without a blade. Good thing about inertia of the flywheel effect. Bolt. So that's my sharpen. Pretty good. Right? And then I just blunt them a little bit. I blunt them a little bit so that if they hit a rock that you don't get as big a dent in them. I mean you're not cut you're not cutting hair, right? Oh I got a little story for you. You guys like my stories or do you <laughs> or do you hate my little stories? Okay, on. Go.
Yeah, it's going to be all right. I'll just put it away right now. Now this should slip in a little bit easier now. Let's get you on the end here. You're looking at it. Yep, kind of. A little dark. Now I'm just going to check that with my big ratchet. If I can just move it, that's about right, eh? Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, we've got a blade on. It's going in the right direction, right? We should go this way. Unplug the spark plug. Yep. Okay. Still has oil on it from previous said mission, right? Okay. All right, I can talk. So the gentleman that dropped this off, he's about my age, right? Worked hard his whole life, has a few nice things like there's a lawnmower. And when he dropped it off, he, he my wife picked it up. He, he left and he was looking at it longingly like he might never see it again. <laughs> and I know how he feels, right? I mean, he's never come to me before. He got me on a, he found me on a community chat forum or something like that. And, uh, you know, he's leaving his prize lawnmower with, with a person he's never met before. So it's kind of cute. I hope, he's, I hope he's watching. His name's Jim. I hope he does watch this to make sure that I'm looking after his, his old boy here. So now we're going to just start this guy up for a few minutes and warm it up and get that fluid warmed up. I'll put him right on the ground. Put you guys over here. There might be two poles now because it was tilted backwards, right? You just never know. Yep. Okay, I'm going to sweep up now. And we'll come back in a bit. Alright guys. Air filter. completely plugged. Look at that. So it had a little bit of a miss when I started it up. Of course they always start up good if they have a dirty air filter because it's like having the choke on. Ooh, look at that. Because a dirty air filter restricts airflow just like a choke does. Good. Okay, I'm just going to set that in there. Will it stay? No. Okay. I'm going to go blow this off. I'm going to blow you off. Alright, I'm putting the oil filter back on. These are simple. You just got to make sure you don't squeeze any of the little uh, paper veins there. Okay, so there's two things left. I'm going to just have a look at the spark plug. And make sure the gas is new-ish. Before that, we're going to plug the, put the bung back in.
pull this glove out, clean up a little bit of oil I spilled. All right, oil, excellent. All right, so we've got to get oil into it now. I know what I'm going to do. I run two of these 500 milliliter bottles. It'd be a shame to start it up without oil, huh? And I, and I almost forgot the, the bung, too, right? Good. Just do a quick check. It probably hasn't completely flowed to the bottom yet. There, I should do it. Yes, sir, Bob, right on the end. Right on the full, sorry. Okay. Spark plug wrench. Come over here. We'll have a look at this old plug. I bet you it's an original. NGK BR4LM. Well, I think we're going to change it out to a BL2LM. And I check every plug. Gap. Ooh, that's a little tight. Thirty thousandths. And let's put her in. You guys are still watching me, right? Okay, now I just want to have a quick a quick look at the fuel. You said it's new. Up here. Oh, there isn't much in there. I'm almost tempted to drain this fuel and give him a fresh tank of fuel. Being as it was missing a little bit. Uh, let me think about that. Hmm. Un momento. Let's tilt it this way a little bit. I'm not sure what to do guys. I mean it's a tune-up, right? I'll be back. I'm just gonna pour this gas out and put new gas in. Okay, I'm just gonna see how much I can get out of here without hurting myself. Ooh, or the camera. There we go. There's a fair bit of dirt in there. So that's going to help.
All right. Let's lower this bad boy down a little bit. And we're just going to see if it has that miss on the start. I don't think it does. No, I bet it's. I, I bet you. I bet you a thousand Bruce bucks. No, Bruce bucks are variable, right? If I'm right, Bruce buck is very, very big. If I'm wrong. A Bruce buck isn't worth much. Okay, let's see how it goes here. Are you guys watching this? Are you, are the red lights on. Everything's great. Da -da 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 tough tune-up. I don't understand why it wouldn't start at the end. It may have just been so flooded when I turned it on its side, but that's the opposite side. So I don't know what happened. We'll check it tomorrow to see how it starts. All right. So I think I'm finished with this guy. It's the next day. I'm just doing a quick check over. I'm going to wipe that off. So this was just a tune-up, right? New spark plug, new air filter, oil change, blade sharpen, clean up. That's the perfect amount of oil. Just to make it sure, right? Let's just see. So this is Jim. We're going to call Jim if this goes well. Thanks for watching this one, folks. Whoop. <laughs>